Today I'm going to show you how to manually add packages to your LaTeX installation. So for example, uh, at the top where you have like these use package commands, LaTeX needs to import those packages to actually use them. So graphic X is one I've already imported, but then I just added this one Halloween math that allows you to make like Halloween themed images, but I haven't installed the library for it yet. So, or sorry, the package for it. So if I hit the quick build here, you'll see it'll pop up and ask me to install it. So this would be like the automatic installation, but I'm going to show you how to manually install it without going through this automatic installation. So this can be helpful if somebody just gives you a certain package or if you don't have internet connection on whatever computer you have LaTeX installed on. The first thing to do is go and find the LaTeX package that you actually want to install. So either if somebody's already given it to you, then you can just go from there. Um, otherwise, you can download it off the internet. So I'm going to use the Halloween math so I can just download it right here from CTAN. Um, but if it's another one, all you have to do to find it is just Google it essentially. So like I'll just do Halloween math package and then it'll pop up right there as CTAN and that's where you would download it from. So you would just click the download link right here and then once it's downloaded, you'll just have this like Halloween math.zip or whatever your package name is. So then you can right click on it to extract it. And then once it's extracted, double click on it to go into it. And then the next thing you have to do is if it has a .sty, um, file then it's probably already ready to go if it has a .ins then that means it needs to be installed so that's pretty simple to do to do that just click in your bar at the top here and type in cmd so that's going to open the command prompt and then what you're going to have to do is run the latex command to install that so for example this one is halloween math.ins so i'm just going to type in latex space mean math dot ins and then i'm going to hit enter and it just installed the Halloween math package. So if it gives you any warnings here, you might want to read through them, but uh, this is normal for just finishing it. So now I'll hit enter to return in this case, and it's all built. So now if I go back into that folder, you'll see that now there is a Halloween math.sty. So that's how most of these packages are going to be is either they're going to already have the sty or they're going to have an ins and you need to do that installation to then generate the STY. So the next step is creating a folder so that we can actually manually load these into LaTeX. It's a little weird how they do this, but um, I found it works decently. So you can make a folder anywhere on your computer. I'm just gonna do it on the C drive because then it's easy to find. So I'll go to C and then just create a folder here and I'll just call it packages. So then the most important part is when you go into that folder, you need to create another empty folder and call it tex, so T-E-X, all lowercase, and then go into that one and create another new folder called latex, and again, all lowercase. So now you can go into that folder, and this is where you would paste all of the packages that you want to install into latex. So I can go back into that other folder where I've extracted the Halloween math. So if I go back into here, then it's not this that I need to copy and paste, it's the folder containing all that. So I'm gonna go up one more subdirectory. And so like it's the one where I, if I double click in it, the stuff is right there. So I'm gonna right click on it to say copy. And then I'm gonna go back to that other folder I created. So that's the packages, text, LaTeX, and I just paste it right here. So the reason for making these two empty folders, the tech and the tech, is it's how the folder structure works for Mike Text to be able to recognize this as a package. So now that we've created this folder structure, we can tell Mike Text where this is, and then after that, it'll be installed in LaTeX. So um, just go to your search and run Mike Text settings admin. So this one right here, and then go to the roots tab. And then we just need to add that to the list right here. So this is one I've already added. I'm just gonna remove that one for now so you know it's just in this one I'm currently going to add. I'll hit add right here. And then you just need to search for that folder you created. So that's one where I called it packages on the C drive. So I'll just scroll down here to packages. It's right there. I'll hit okay. And now it's all happy. And I'm gonna hit apply and you're gonna see it do this thing really quick. That's where it's actually importing the packages. So that's important. So now I'll hit okay. And now you'll see if I go back to LaTeX, instead of giving me this error about not being able to find it, I'm going to quick build it again. 
So when I quick build it again, it asks for another package installation. So it did notice that the Halloween math package is installed, so it's all happy with that now. But now I guess Halloween math has another sub package that needs to be installed. So I'll add the rest of the sub packages and then just run this again to show you that it does compile correctly. Now at this point, I've installed the pick2e dot sty into the folder but i wanted to point something out that it is still asking me for that and so this is an error i've run into quite commonly when doing this method so um if i hit cancel here and go back to the packages you'll see that it is in the correct folder and LaTeX is just not realizing that's in there. And I've realized that MikeTex just needs to recompile all of this before it started to be recognized. So if you put it in there and it's still not working, then you might need to go back into MikeTex. So into the settings here, go back to roots, remove that directory that you added, and then just add it again. So it's just called packages, hit okay, apply it again. It's going to recompile it, and now I'll hit OK, I'll go back to LaTeX, and now when I build it, it now compiles fine. So essentially, to manually install packages, you just need to create that directory, go on the internet, download those packages. If it has the INS, you need to run LaTeX on that INS first, and then you can move that into the uh, text LaTeX folder that you created. You need to add that into the roots of MikeTex, and then every time you, you add a new package, you might need to remove and add that same folder to the roots directory again to get it to recompile those packages. Otherwise, probably re rebooting your computer uh, would do the same thing. So um, with that, you can manually install packages into MikeTex.